has grown rapidly over the years. From an active downtown business district and a thriving college environment, to suburbs each with their own distinct personality, the city has established itself as a diverse place for its residents to call home. However, the area just north of downtown has been struggling for decades. Ranked as the most dangerous neighborhood in the United States in 2009 by a very controversial poll, Over the Rhine has struggled to maintain its credibility. Due to safety concerns and a rough history marred by violence and crime, many avoid the area altogether. But upon closer look, one can see positive changes happening. Places such as Music Hall, architectural firms designing new buildings for up-and-coming businesses, or Finley Market, Ohio's oldest marketplace and a center for community and commerce. There are bustling bars and restaurants that have been reopened, refurbished, and are prospering under new patronage. In just over a year, the area of Over the Rhine has dropped from 1st to 24th in what some refer to as the nation's most dangerous neighborhoods. Some people now believe, or want to believe, that Over the Rhine is back and better than ever or at least on its way to becoming restored to its former glory. Delbert Williams is a local musician who has witnessed for years the adversities the area has overcome. Boy, walking with the family and the man got shot last night. Last night? This last night. You know all the, all the crime and stuff that goes along with this area, man. If she can't make no macaroni and cheese, if she can't make no cornbread. And I would come down here, you see four or five uh, drug dealers standing on that corner. Captain Nick Lagan has been patrolling the area for seven years and has been a first-hand witness to the crime and the dark side of Over the Rhine, but still has hope for its development. Because you can't stand drug dealers out just blatant. It was just blatant, you know, but now it's as different as night and day. And of course, Music Hall is right here. Washington Park is here. Martha Schickeldorf is the owner and operator of Schickel Design, a company that has focused a lot of effort to improve over the Rhine. We bought this building. It was a shell. It was, uh, you know, there are people hanging out around it and in it. It was um, boarded up and vacant, and it was really awful. This was, you know, this is some, somebody put some money into that building right there and then forgot about it. Charles Bell, a French hornist in his 28th season as a member of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, embraces the neighborhood by walking to Music Hall, one of the most prominent and outlasting structures of Over the Rhine. Washington Park is also kind of infamous for its role as, as the central part of the riots that, that resulted from a, from a slaying of a young man who lived down here. Beth Walter Hernadel is a professor of planning in the Design, Architecture, Art, and Planning College at the University of Cincinnati and sees the potential of the area. I think one of the needs is to infill a lot of the vacancies there. It's still visually somewhat spotty or, you know, not consistent. Um, I just visited there today and I see such progress, but there's still room for improvement where there are gaps in the, in the picture. change of progress. So the more we get people down here to convert these buildings into condos and businesses, it's, it's, it's going to do better. Well, I think um, people who aren't familiar with Over the Rhine have a very black and white view of it. They only know what they've heard and what they've seen on TV. And the only thing that's shown on TV is when uh, incidents erupt. They always try to blame our uh, lagging subscriptions on people being afraid of coming down here, but I think our devoted following, I, I think they're used to coming down here anyway, so I don't, I'm not sure that has anything to do with it. And when they pass through and they see kids enjoying themselves and families together, you know, they have a, maybe an image of what it can be like. I think the greatest obstacle that I see is, is the perception that Over the Rhine is not necessarily a good place to live, do business, um, invest in and so on, but that perception is changing. We 
moved here because of the positive things. This is a world-class neighborhood. You know, you shouldn't avoid over the Rhine because of any overblown idea of what, how dangerous it is. It's much better now than it is. It has an excellent location that really to get almost any place within the city, you really want to go through there, you don't want to go around it. I've been away, I've been seen in a while. How have you been? Did you change your style? Do you think we both grown up differently? We don't seem the same. Like you lost your feel for me. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.